Okay, we are going back in the house. Uh, crazy shit happening tonight. Um, flashlight going on and off. Bad cold chills. Um, we're going to set the camera up there. We're going to see if it'll shut the the uh, attic door. Yeah, that we were doing pointing towards the attic. Yeah, and then uh, we're going to leave a couple uh, recorders up there, and we're just going to see what happens. Uh, this house is just freaky yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a little scary you know so. what what's causing i don't know maybe this house has caused me to have major anger issues because I, I, I feel very angry right now I just, you think it's a little bit you've ripped the cord out of the thing you've been throwing shit yeah a little angry maybe we just we're gonna take a break but we're gonna leave the camera inside so yeah you'll see anything that we see yep all right man Coming back upstairs. If you're up here, you don't want us up here, you gotta tell us. Dude, I just get instant cold chills. Where do you wanna put this? Alright, I'm gonna go up in the attic. And uh You, you got, got a recorder? Yeah, I got a recorder. Uh, so you're gonna be down here, right? Yep. really strong again. Dude, you're kidding me. That is freaking wild, dude. Lord, is that you? Are you the one doing this? to the basement this is where everybody says things were bad what did it say something fire wildfire huh. wildfire yeah. okay we're gonna set this right here that's good right there let me turn this out and see 
looking very good. Yep, yep. Looks good. Wildfire. Mm. here to get the camera so if there's anything down here you can say something this is round five round five of the Maslin house um, a few things before we go in um, you know, a lot of people believe in ghosts or spirits that it's somebody else from a time past or a loved one who passed away that's trying to contact us. Um, we don't really believe that way. Uh, we don't hold it against anybody that does. You know, there's a lot of ghost crews out there that think that, you know, it's, it's a spirit or... Uh, it's an entity. We tend to think it's a demonic presence. Um, we don't know what's in this house. What we do know is we've interviewed two people that were here, lived here, and from the stories that we have heard and some that you'll hear, whatever's in this house is not good. <coughs> so... We tried to uh, just show you from our perspective what's going on. You know, like I say, there's a lot of ghost hunting shows, a lot of a lot of people on YouTube that say, well, it's a spirit, it's, it's someone that died 100 years ago. We don't necessarily believe that. Ready here we now. are on the first floor. What happened here is there were some hair being pulled when the girls were younger. Um, the stove had been broke for several years, and George, which is Vicky's father, he passed away, and he used to like to make apple pies. Well, one night she came home, and she smelled apple pies baking. Well, the stove had been broke, so this is the living room over here. Nothing really happened here. No activity to speak of, so we really don't get anything. We've tried in here, we really haven't gotten anything, but we want to show everybody what we see. And Jerry's going to turn the light off, and you can see exactly how dark it is. There so that's is. what we see. Now he's going to flip the light on, and you'll be able to see us again. And, uh,. <laughs> He just blinded me. Thanks. The second floor. Lots of fun. This place is so tiny. Cramped. Looks so big on the outside, but inside everything's just so is small. This recording? Yeah. I'm leave it right there. Leave it down here. Okay. Yep. Okay, this is the hallway. Um, nothing really happened here. Like I said, Vicky has a sister and a brother. And most of the stuff happened on the second floor, which we really can't ex describe to you how it feels right now. But as soon as you top the floor, at the top of the steps, you get cold chills instantly. George is Vicky's father, and 
if we if you don't know by now he smoked uh, vanilla cherry pipe tobacco well when you open the attic door it just it just hits you right in the face I mean we can't describe we can only describe it to you we can't let you smell it obviously but it's just it's so strange now this is a sewing room earlier tonight Jerry had placed a flashlight here and as he walked by myself Vicki and Jared we were at this sewing room there was a cold spot in the middle of the room and yes it's cold outside and it's cold in here there's no electricity but we felt a cold spot and as we entered the room we felt a breeze Remarkable. It was. It was very remarkable. remarkable. <laughs> so Jerry walked down the hallway, and we were getting EMF readings in the 1300s. Jerry walks down the hall, and something, an air mass, moved through his body. Scared you a little bit? Yes, very much. <laughs> All right, let's walk down here. Is there anyone in here with me? Does anyone want to tell me your name? How many of you are there? turn the flashlight on again because this is extremely dark. Hey, up here we smelled, this is where the pipe tobacco was. And I mean, Jerry can tell you, he would come in the room, pipe tobacco, leave the room, no smell. Chills up his back as he exited the room. So, we will go up here and do a little bit of, see you don't have the camera on me, and then turn it off, and voila, pitch dark. Moving around the room. Yeah, it's very dark here. Now I'm moving around with the light on. So, if there's anyone up here that would like to talk to us, we're willing to listen to what you have to say. Anyone at all here? Do you smell it? I don't smell it now. No, I don't either. Is there anyone here at all? We got a flashlight here. Is there anything up here with us, which I don't think there is. I don't feel nothing. Yeah, I'm not feeling anything. I'm not feeling any anything at all. I'm not smelling the pipe tobacco. I'm not. If you're up here, you can turn that flashlight on for us. Okay, we're going to go back downstairs and uh, wrap this light. We don't know what we're experiencing here. We know there's some things that have happened tonight. The first time we were here, um, we caught some things. You can see that on YouTube. But this time, it's it's been a little more amped up, wouldn't you say? Yeah, especially when Vicky was here. Yeah, Vicky seemed to bring it out. She seems to be the energy source behind yeah, all this. I think so. Because it's pretty much died down ever since she's gone, little by little. So, that's going to be part five. Mm -hmm. And that's a walk through the house. So, you, you know, in a lot of the videos we have, you can't see the whole thing. You don't get a, a scope for the size of it. It's actually a big house, but it's small inside. It's just a it, it's, bad design. It's, it's kind of amazing because when on the outside, when you look at it, you think, wow, you know, that, that place has got to be huge, but it's so cramped and small. So, of course, there's a lot of stuff in here. So yeah, that, that kind of makes stuff. it. We're going to walk down here. If there's anything that would like to talk to us before we leave, we'd love to hear from you.
I'm not feeling that thing. Dude. I'm not either. I'm warm actually right it's now. It's unbelievable. My hands are warm. We come in this time. And and nothing. Nothing. Okay. It's gonna be the last go around inside this place. Don't know if we'll get anything. I hope so, because it's becoming pretty boring now. Yeah, it was like on fire from probably 7.45, 8 o'clock on until about midnight. Seems like after Vicky left, it just started yeah, slowly, slowly dwindling. slowly dwindling down. So we're going inside. We'll see what we can get. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am numb. We're coming back, baby. I will be numb. I am a numb Go back again. You're probably tired of our asses, aren't you? It's all right. You could be tired of us. I think Gary's had about enough of it. Come on, show me what you got. Let's, let's have a party. Well, I got a little uh, graph going here. If you come near it, it's going to let me know. Yeah. Now I want to see these lines move and hear that tone change pitch. Oh my goodness. I don't even get chills anymore. No, I don't feel nothing. Even in this room. I mean, this is the room we usually get major. Come on! Where are you at? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna play this back here in a second. I'm gonna ask a couple more questions. Are you chicken? <laughs> Come on, damn it! Do something. I had high hopes for this time of night for major activity, and you are letting us down. You know what? It might be. It, it's got to be just Vicky. I mean, Vicky and her family. But me. I mean, you want to go to the basement? Yeah. I mean, I I don't know what else to do. I'll just say call it a night because I don't feel really. Well, I don't know. Let's uh, here's this. I'll okay. grab this. Let's. Uh, B five O foam. That's supposed to sure are dumb. Okay, we're gonna try the basement one more time. But it doesn't seem like anything is happening at all. Is there anything you want to say to us? Hudson. This scared me. Hudson. The ghost speaker just said Hudson. What does that mean? Where's the Hudson River? That's in New York. That's not it. No. Hudson, is that your name? Is that That's your last name? Type of a car. It was? Yeah, Hudson. My grandparents had one. Well, Hudson, we're sitting here waiting for you. Yep, yeah, talk to us. And the basement is supposed to be the really, really scary place. Seems like it's not really been that scary. Yeah, it's not us. And that would be as opposed to the noises that you don't make. <laughs> Jerry just makes noise all the time. He's like a Sasquatch on steroids. And no, we don't believe in Sasquatch. Okay, goofball. That actually is the most noise we've heard all night. So... Make a noise upstairs. We're kind of at the point where we want to hear something, but if you hear something, it's really going to freak you out because it's so dark and so quiet. I think it's time to call tonight. Wrap up. 
And it's 3.52. It's time to call it a night. Back about 6 o'clock. All right. Let's uh, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. We're going to call it a night. Yep. It's been fun. The next time you see us, hopefully we'll be it'll be the, on YouTube, and we will probably be coming from the Calvin Center in Youngstown, Ohio. So, please send us donations so we can go. <laughs> yes.